This is non-calculator question number four. College Board is asking which of the following is an example of a function with no x-intercepts. Choice A is a linear function whose rate of change is not zero. The rate of change is the slope. If you have a linear function with non-zero slope, it has to go through the x-axis. So that does not work. Choice B would be a quadratic with real zeros. The zeros are the x-intercepts. So if a quadratic has real zeros, it has one or two x-intercepts. So that does not work. So A is not correct, B is not correct. Choice C is a quadratic with no real zeros. Since the zeros are the x-intercepts, if you have no real zero, you have no x-intercepts. So this would be the correct answer. And choice D is a cubic, and all cubics have real zeros, all cubics have at least one x-intercept, so choice D would be wrong. Only choice C is an example with no x-intercepts, and that's what they're asking for. College Board often asks about the graph of a linear equation, quadratic or a cubic. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.